Dear Nobel laureate, dear professors, dear scientists, dear students, I feel uh, with a big pleasure to be here and uh, to stand here in front of you. And uh, I would like to thank this uh, unique award from the National Scientists Academy. And uh, just for a short introduction, I had the opportunity to participate in the Retina Neurobiology Research Group in the University of Page in the summer for a few weeks with one of my classmates, Jakob Mate, and uh, I will introduce, uh, I will give a short summary about my uh, research work that I was conducted in this uh, few week. So as an introduction, I will talk about the disease called age-related macular degeneration, which is the main cause of blindness uh, among the uh, aged individuals. It causes the degeneration of the fovea, and uh, according to the increasing uh, life expectancy, the frequency of this disease will uh, rise in the future. So it, it's really important to understand the precise but the mechanism uh, behind this disease. However, it is still uh, widely unknown. What we know is that the main cause of this disease, the main risk factor of this disease is the age. So I was interested in that what happens with aging in the retina that could contribute to, these, uh, to the development of these diseases. To, to uh, determine these changes, uh, the first experiment that I used was an immunohistochemistry. Uh, and I, the model animal was a uh, mice. I uh, uh, used uh, young and the old but still healthy mice uh, to, to determine these changes in the retina. After the dissection of their uh, retinas, I made the immune histochemistry staining on them, and uh, samples were scanned with uh, laser confocal scanning microscopy. Uh, just a few words about the immune histochemistry. Uh, so it enables us to uh, detect the uh, specific uh, cells that we are interested in based on the uh, immune reaction of the antigen and the uh, antibodies. And, uh, I used the uh, EVO1 marker for the microglias and GFAP to detect the uh, astrocytes because I was um, primarily interested in the um, glia cells of the retina because they are less examined in this case. So as it can be seen that uh, the microglias are the, are the own, retina's own immune cells uh, which have several morphology but it, this can be categorized into two main uh, uh, groups uh, based on their morphological signs and into an activated phase and into a ramified non-activated phase and uh, based on the uh, morphology I categorized into them after the cell counting uh, that was made on the samples. And the other type of the gliocytes was the astrocytes that I was interested in these uh, maintain uh, the homeostasis, the metabolism, the metabolic balance, and uh, they form the inner blood retinal barrier. So the, these cells that I was interested in, indicated in this figure that uh, present in the vitreous side of the retina. And uh, after the confocal images that I was uh, processed, it can be seen that uh, uh, with uh, green, the green is indicates the microglias, the red the astrocytes, and uh, with blue can be seen the ganglion cells. So this is the three-dimensional reconstruction of the um, confocal images, and uh, make the two-dimensional projections of it. It is uh, uh, it provides an opportunity to measure the cells. Um, what we are interested in. So, first of all, the microglias. It can be seen that there is a, there is a visible change in the morphology. And uh, these uh, squares are uh, the side length with 200 uh, microns. And in these cells, I measure the cell numbers and categorize into two main uh, activation phase. And it shows that there is a slightly uh, increase in the whole number of the microglias but the, the ratio, the my activated microglias to the whole number of uh, the microglias is, is significantly increased, which is, uh, indicates uh, 
uh, slight uh, amide inflammation of the retina based on the, the pro-inflammatory factors that they are produced. And in the case of astrocytes, it can be seen that the, the density of the uh, processes are decreased. And uh, after I measure the area of these cells uh, in the uh, figures below, uh, and, uh, there can be seen that the process, the area of the process that the astrocytes uh, covers is significantly decreased. And uh, this observation, based on this observation, we can uh, conclude, we made some conclusions. So the increasing of the activation of the microglia uh, suggests uh, a mild inflammation, as I said before, and we can suggest also an altered homostasis because this can be the trigger that uh, indicates the uh, activation of these cells. And the, in case of the astrocytes, the decrease in the coverage can contribute to the, to the increase in the permeability of the um, blood retinal barrier and uh, so the disruption of this metabolic balance. And these two points can be correlated because of the disrupted metabolism. It can indicate the, the activation of the microglia, And uh, then it causes an, an, an mild inflammation, which can lead to uh, neuronal damage. That, and this uh, observation can lead to the abnormal uh, conditions that can be seen in the case of AMD. I was interested in also uh, in the ability to react to the oxidative stress. So I, I, the glutathione content was measured in the samples. The glutathione is the most important um, antioxidant in the retina, uh, which was measured by a technique. So here on that uh, um, here can be seen the molecule uh, up there and that uh, teal graph in the cysteine, molecule, uh, cysteine amino acid is uh, responsible for the role of of the antioxidant role and uh, basically it has two main forms the the reduced and oxidized form and this can be measured in different ways however we have multiple studies show that uh, in AMD the content of the glutathione is decreased. So I was interested in that in my samples under physiological conditions, uh, how uh, does the, the content of glutathione is change? So for this I, I used the main, uh, uh, spectrophotometry method. So I added the almond reagent which is uh, named as DTMB. And it can react with the reduced form of the glutathione, and it uh, will, uh, uh, and then a yellow product will be made, which can be measured in 412 nanometers with the spectrophotometry. However, with, however, with this method, we could just measure the reduced form of the glutathione. So we need to add uh, glutathione reductase and then ADPH as a cofactor to to reduce the oxidized form of the glutathione. So with this process, we could, we could indicate the whole number of, whole, the whole amount of the glutathione content. And the, the results show an, an interesting uh, observation that in case of the physiological condition, the glutathione content in the old uh, mice uh, increased despite the fact that in AMD uh, it is decreased, so it would be an interesting, to, interesting uh, direction for the future to examine this, uh, and this anomaly. And uh, lastly, I would like to thank all of the people uh, who supported me and who enabled to, to be here today, and uh, especially my mentor, uh, Dr. Kovács Oler Tomás and my biology, biology teachers, Jorge Boronyai and Bence Szabó Farkas, and uh, to this program, this National Academy of Scientists Education, that uh, provided me a lot of uh, experimental knowledge that ca could be um, used under, uh, during my, my research work. And as a home take message for the students, I just want to advise that uh, uh, start the research work as uh, early as possible, because maybe it's, it's not, these are not big results, however, the, the experience that you can uh, 
uh, earn from this uh, this work is 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 really great for your future career. So thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much uh, indeed for the presentation. So everybody can see that if you join the program and go from basic, intermediate, and advanced level, what kind of uh, research you can do and you can achieve. Congratulations again for you. And congratulations for your very dedicated uh, teacher as well, Jozef Baranyai. I would like to ask you also to come up to the stage uh, and uh, both of you to take the, the, the award. Uh, and I also ask Andras to come up. And uh, we would like to give uh, both of you uh, the, the, the certificate and congratulate for your work.